Hello friends, we have discussed about how to define or what is the quantitative ratio of productivity. Basically, we have defined this particular productivity as a quantitative ratio of output to input and in today's class, basically we are going to discuss about the different definitions which we, are, which we can learn for this particular productivity term. The first definition of productivity, it gives me an idea regarding productivity is a function. Function of what? Function of providing more and more of everything to more and more people with less and less consumption of resources. That means here I am going to define this particular productivity in terms of what we are going to get from that particular machine, from that particular section regarding or related with the different resources which we are going to consume. And that's why we can define this particular productivity as more and more output, more for more and more people, but less and less consumption of resources. When I am going to compare this particular output with respect to resources, the resources which I am going to consume will be obviously less so that we can optimally or effectively utilize this particular resources. The second definition of productivity we can define as the volume of output attained in a given period of time in relation to the sum of direct and indirect efforts extended in its production. It is simple and straightforward definition that the volume which we are going to generate as an output for that specific period, for example, within a first shift, within a second shift or within that particular day, to produce that particular output within a day, what are the direct and indirect efforts which we have already put to get that particular output that gives me the term productivity. The third definition of productivity we can define as Basically, it is a measure of how well the resources are brought together in an organization and utilized for accomplishing a set of objectives. Obviously, we are already having different objectives in our mind and we always try to achieve those particular objectives for our organization and within that particular ob uh, organization's objectives, one might be having an objective to improve productivity. And we know that my productivity for my organization will be definitely going to be increased when I am going to produce more and more better and better for my customer. And therefore, taking into consideration this particular term productivity, this productivity is definitely going to measure how well we have utilized those particular resources which are available within that particular organization to manufacture that particular output, take into consideration the set of objectives which we already defined for our organization, for our company. Moving further, the next definition of productivity defined as the productivity is concerned with establishing congruency between organizational goals with societal aspirations through input-output relationship. Whatever we are going to generate as an output for the society and how we are going to generate that particular output in relation with the different inputs which are going to be used to generate those particular output that defines or that gives me the term productivity. The fifth definition of productivity is a simple one that is productivity is just the multiplier effect of efficiency and effect effectiveness that is really very important. When we are going to multiply the efficiency with effectiveness, we will definitely going to get the term which we are going to call as a productivity. Now, taking into consideration these different definitions of productivity, I am having one question for you. Recall any one definition of productivity. 